What a fruitcake. Hmm, hmm. Let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have have with such a man, uh, with a man such as myself? Yipes, the guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Can I examine the painting? Get out of the way, dude. Yeah, hmm? Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridicul... Ridiculosity. Ah, oh, bollocks. I didn't even see what he said. That right there is a bona fide original, worth fi five million for sure. Hmm... Interesting, because I'm pretty sure Grossberg said the same thing. Will he say the same thing? Oh, he does. Ridiculosity. I have no interest in anything but originals. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Did you acquire that from Grossberg? Well, to be fair, it makes sense, because Grossberg, in Grossberg's office, that painting's missing. Either way, Miss May. Strange. Miss May is an employee of Blue Cop, is she not? Correct. She was my sec... Secretariat. Whatever. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's ter trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in Mi April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police. The courts. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. Blue Cop. What kind of company is Blue Pot? And uh, Blue Pot. Blue Cop, anyway. Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell information? In just ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Now, in case you were wondering, Blue Cop was named after the color blue. Red, white, and blue. Isn't that what Mia said just before she died? Hmm. The way I, Red, White, of Blue Cop, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the colour blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Yeah, sure. A painting. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous, I've seen it before. Where did you get it? I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. But what? Ugh. Oof. What happened? Uh. He. he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the cops, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world by beyond your compre compensation, not comprehension. You came here from Grodyburgers, I presume. Miss Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. 
Go now. Skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Okay. Weird. Right, now we can go and see Grossberg, I suppose. Oh, he's here. Grossberg! Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem! Jump in Jehoshaphat's! Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I'm just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Okay, I'll just talk to him, I guess. Today's trial. So, you came to see the trial? Yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just Mia's sister. That poor girl. My boy, I owe you, I owe you many thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Your refusal? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defence? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Mr. White. So, I paid Blue Cop a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... The photo... Why, would you def why wouldn't you defend Maya? Uh, no, the big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office of, at Blue Cop, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Graysberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Your lovers. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were uh, Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying... Paying them for 15 years now. 15 years. All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of the, those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves. And therefore, to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. The DL6 incident. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay? Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of, of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Reason for blackmail. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment for, to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for what the one who sold them out. 
Of course, White heard about it, and then he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, if I clo have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Okay, so I guess we're done here. Hot damn. Yeah, we're going to Fay and Law offices. It's funny, looking at this room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All I can do is examine, so... You know... Mia's favourite potted plant. Not what I wanted! I guess I'll have to water it now. Find these. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Red what? Wait, it'd be, it'd be by surname, right? So... Or would it? Screw it, go for this. Let's see if there's a... If there's a record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, F, Misty Fay. That's uh, me and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Sure. I have tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words, my mother, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. The, this parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm? The record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Oh yeah. Keep forgetting, I can just hit it and then go and examine it. I don't have to double tap. Look at J to S. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of these. Skim. Ah. <sighs> Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part here, at the end in S. Suicide? Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen... Huh? There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping added to the court record. I want to examine that. Article about a politician suicide, the word white is written in pen at the top. Should I check me his files once more? Check him! Which file to check? T to Z. T, U, I know, W, white. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Oh. Interesting. Either way, move. Right, let's go, and s let's go pay a visit to Blue Cop again. So, well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience, patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Talk. Can I mention anything else? I can actually talk about all of those. But there's no point because we've already spoke about those. Wait a minute. No, we haven't. Crap, we keep doing the wrong thing. Blackmail. No point. There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why yes, there's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course, I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humour. I will not think less of you. Alright, cool. So, present. The clipping. 
This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secrets at secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day he took his own life. And this concerns me how. I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labelled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. Bribed? No, it'd be blackmail. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it you that you should be doing now, investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Se Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was onto you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you and April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort mis for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fay case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. <laughs> Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The, execu the executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer. Man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As uh, as was Miss Meyer. But Mia, fuck, how dare you? I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so su su stupendously inept that they make even you look con uh, competent. Jesus. I... I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe, reporting, sir. Ah! Butts! Harry Butts! <laughs> right, actually. Phoenix right, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? No! Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. What a dick. Of course, the last bit, the last glimpse you get to see is his stupid fucking face. September 8th, 3.37pm, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to be to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Huh, <laughs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean, you? They explained what had, had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you? This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Cheer me on in court. Well, you could cheer me on in court. Cheer for you? 
You mean, like a cheerleader? Huh? Uh, yeah, like that. Alright, leave it to me. Huh? I better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I was kidding. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But... But I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece. Okay. Then, come to the cot tomorrow. Uh, okay. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. And there it is. Hot damn. It's the beginning of a new century. Whew. Yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself. There's the dick. Tomorrow the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's me or him. Alright. Ah, oh, dearie me. To be continued! Are you shitting me? Fuck me, this never ends. I did not expect the second case. The first case we do is like, you know, 30 minutes. Maybe a teeny bit longer than 30 minutes long. You get into case two. Holy balls. It goes on for... It's been nearly an hour and a half, plus an hour. Two and a half hours? Jeez. September 9th, 9.52am, District Court, Defendant Lobby number one. I really love this music though. Oh, it's so good. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. But for Phoenix, look. Edgeworth. I received a call from the public prosecutor's office yesterday. He told me that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be opening for session soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. He's not... I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. September 9th, 10am, District Court, courtroom number one. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Do 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 Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of another witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call it witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about it... About this, I suppose it's me. OBJECTION! Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Shit. 
Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. <laughs> of course. I fucking bow. Screw you. Great. He gets to show off, and I get nowhere. Hey. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Go I hate him. He's also got an arse for a chin. Please state your full name. Look at that arse chin. You wish to know the title of my personage? Ah, oh, God. Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? I don't know half these words he's saying. Name. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Cop. Did you know the victim, Miss Maya Fay? Mia Fay, fuck me. That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. You witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. <clears throat> Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin with your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world, and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho! Oh god. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Well, he really does want to just end us. Let him have it, Phoenix. Beep The witness's account. Alright, let's do this. Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. Continue. I was quietly perusifying uh, that reading to you some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Of course. Ah, uh, alright, whatever. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. It's like, we know we didn't- we didn't kill her, like, what the fuck? Alright. Do, 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 do. Right, let's see, it was about nine, I believe. I'm just gonna press everything. How do you know what time it was? Because I am always absolutely -pos perfect, you know? No, 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 you're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secret secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said too. All right, hold back. Don't see anything to gain by attacking him on this point any further. Okay, what were you doing at that time? It was perusifying. Fuck off. Hold it! By window, you mean the one directly across from the Fay & Co law office. Correct. That is the only window, you see. And there you were reading. Papers? Correct. The Gateway is a businessman's hotel. And I am a busy man who had business to do. Then I had heard a bedlam coming from outside. A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Surprised I turned to look at the building across the way. I'm just quite literally pressing him on everything. So you were reading your papers until you heard that sound? But of course. I am no snoop. Peeping out of windows at night. No snoop? Yeah, right. You've made a career out of snooping. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. This is spiky head. <laughs> that man was none other than you. <laughs> Are you sure it was me? What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? <laughs> twenty to any. Counting both eyes, forty. Forty? Don't add them together. 
I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on anyway? What did you do then? I called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. Right, okay. What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Fay office phone? Whoa! That is a different case entirely. Irrelevant, this has nothing- that has nothing to do with the case at hand. That's, that's what I thought he was going to say. I care not, I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Fay woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho <laughs> ho, after all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. The victim, she... she ran away, but you gave chase. Can you be... a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Comprende? I understand. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong bloody screen. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Oh, ran to the left, did she? You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? 